All right, here's a snippet of the bok choy. So this was propagated from two bok choys that I had, had eaten. And I just set them here in a prior video. You can see that where I just cut off the base, plopped her in some water, let her, let her root for a couple of days. And then I planted, um, planted her into the soil and look at her go she is doing amazing the one i tried to do this summer did not do well um but because it was too hot and as you can see it's a ton of little bugs out here it's warm today so yeah in the sake of trying to keep her safe I think I might be pretty good. I'm in zone 7B and the temperatures are going to go back down. But in the meantime, I don't want to take any chances. So I'm going to give her a good covering all around at the base of my diatomaceous earth. This will keep all little critters away. Hopefully. Prayerfully, I should say. <laughs> Um, especially the ants. The ants tend to get in here some from time to time. And once I do that, or maybe sprinkle on some cayenne pepper, that usually does the trick. And there you have it. She's covered. Look at that little hole. Look like something already got to it a little bit. So we're going to leave that here. And then we could just reapply it if we need to in case it, um, in case it gets wet. But my tomatoes, they're at the end of their life cycle <laughs> this season. So I am going to actually pull them out most likely on Sunday. We have one little guy trying to ripen, but there's a couple um, flowers on here. It's still trying to produce, but I think it may be it for them. And look at the babies. See, there's still quite a few flowers trying. And here we go with the broccoli. I'm going to shake here on her too. Shake all around. Even that <laughs> girl that got eaten up so bad. But I'm going to just see what happens. It got real, real cool. And they started to flower down So, um, in the middle. So I just left it. She was eating up really bad. So I'm going to leave it. I did plant a couple extra to see what might happen. And that's it. There's onion in here that's sprouting. Um, and then my spinach is coming up. And over here, my tomato, my um, potatoes are just about done. See, they still have some earth on top. Nothing really eats these, though, but I'm going to sprinkle it up anyway. And let's see if there's anything sprouting in here yet. These are my greens. Nope. Nothing coming up yet. I'm prayerful, though. Something will come. But nothing but a bunch of nets. And over here, look at my garlic. My garlic is shooting up big time. Look at that. I have a couple more that were in here. I don't know what's going on. Usually nothing really bothers the garlic, but I'm gonna sprinkle them in here anyway. All right, well, there we have it. Nothing is sprouting yet. I'll keep my eye on it. I've been doing really good watering it every day, misting it, trying to get the seeds to germinate. I probably should cover it in case it dips, but I haven't. Just gonna see how it goes. So yeah, thank you for tuning in.